What's going on, everybody? Hey, y'all. Yeah, we are back. Woo! Yes, it's Drinks and Conversation. The podcast. Yes, in this intro picks, and I'm always in the building. And I'm Oxy Toasting, and it's always going down. Yeah, what's going on, Oxy Toast? Ain't nothing much. Listen, take we've been it. gone too long. I know you want to see me. Take <laughs> it, take it. I want to be a baby, baby, baby. Listen, this is not, this Maria, is not karaoke. Maria, Maria. Go ahead. Him of the African this, this, story. Is, this is your part. Go ahead. Uh, I just like, I just love this. Playback Carlos Santana. <laughs> hey, yeah, no, definitely. It feels good to be back. Feels good to be back. We've been going through some things, you know. Been through a little thing, a little, little struggle. Family, you know, has to take precedence. Yeah. But we back. We back. You know. Live yeah, and you live know? in color. Well, or know, back right? by popular demand. That's hey, okay now, that's what yeah. I like to hear. That's what <laughs> I like to Back by popular demand. Popular. And I want to say thank you to everybody who reached out to me. I don't know if people reached out to you, but they were like, hello, where is the show? Yeah, that, they definitely that felt like really good. It, yeah. it honestly felt really good. You know, we enjoyed that people like what we're putting out. So to hear you ask for it and just to check up on me, see what's going on, where it's at, I appreciate that. And, so, and we're not yeah. going. We're not going to be gone for long. And I know. I know that. Nope. With, with, with me, I had a couple of um un, unforeseen deaths in my family, yeah. and that's why I had to travel. If anybody's been watching me through Instagram and things like that, but um, you know, sometimes you just need a little little breather room, Absolutely. you know, and come on back. And I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be back here, recent conversation with you, oxytocin. Hey now, I'm happy to be with me too. Like, you happy to be with you? I am. <laughs> yes. I'm really happy to be with me. And I know everyone else who's around me feels the same way. Well, how has your summer been going so far? Um, my summer has been really, really great. I took my vacation later in the year, and I took it for two weeks. Mm -hmm. So I just felt like I've been overworked. Usually I take it around like February or March. But, you okay. know, my daughter, she runs track and she made it to the Junior Olympics. She's been doing her thing. Been doing her thing. So we had to go to Michigan. We were in Livonia, Michigan. Uh, and it was, it was nice. We flew out there. It was her first time on a plane. So she's never been on a plane before. It was really cool. She was scared? Um, No, she a G like her mama. You know what I mean? Ain't no time you ain't no G. She, oh, she, my she, gosh. She, she, she not scared. She's a G like her mama. You All know right. What I'm saying? Okay. So, but she wasn't scared. And we had a great time. I mean, we bonded. You know what I mean? So That's important. a lot of times when you live in your day-to-day -day life, she's going to school. I'm going to work. She's at track practice. I'm going here. So we never really just sit together and just it's be talking. together for so long talking getting along so you know that's my baby baby you know yeah, I know. I mean? okay <laughs> nice little plug I yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 but um oh it, it's been great you know what i mean so great summer i couldn't ask for anything more well what, what is more important than establishing a great bond with your children your kid and um and actually just having some time to bond and actually be with your family you know there's nothing more and you got a pretty big family i, I do tell. shout out so. to the crew the clan <laughs> hey not the not the clan not not the, not that clan. To, yeah, not that clan my crew my 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 blood my warfare them them you know uh yeah it's great to have a big family um I love it, man. I love, I love my family. I'm so fortunate to actually get along with my, my family. You know, every family has its ups and downs, but for the most part, we good. You get along with everybody? I get along with everybody for the most part. For the no, most part. What does for the most part mean? That's always that one. <laughs> it's always, <laughs> always that, that one. one. <laughs> That's always that one for oh, the no, most right? part. Well, I had a great summer. Thank you for asking, Oxy. How was your yeah. summer? <laughs> How was your summer? How was my it? My summer so How was fun. it? How was it? <laughs> It's been it's been going good. It's been going good. How was your okay? It's getting, okay. <laughs> it's getting better. Okay. It's getting better. It's getting better. You know, I, I'm a big Big Brother. I don't know if you watch Big Brother, but I'm a big Big Brother fan. So like my summer is always lit because of the new season of Big Brother. So it's season number 19. All of the people out 19. there who are Big Brother fans, you know, make sure you comment and Maybe. tune in. Because um, I'm always watching Big Brother, and I'm all—it's it, like a real live Hunger Games, if you ask me. 
That seems a little dangerous. Without the death. Oh, okay. Without I'm like, death. oh. Without the death. I don't watch Big Brother, but I was like, oh. Without okay. The, Any movies not. you seen? Did you see Girls Trip? I did not see Yo, Girls Trip. Yo, I haven't seen it either, and I'm so <laughs> mad at myself. I was legit capping for this movie, but with like everything I had going on, I just could not make my way to it. But theater. you know what? A lot of people actually went to, a lot of guys actually went to go and see this movie with their girls. And I heard so good. It, they some said guys it was good. went without their girls. Yeah, and some just of them went to go that, see the movie. Wanted to go meet Smith. a girl. That Jada Pinkett Smith. Wanted you know to go meet a girl. You know, <laughs> hey, you know, they knew that's where the ladies was going to be, so. Yeah. That's no. an easy date, though. Like, you it just is. be like, hey, you want to go to a movie? movie? You know, girl trip without, you know. <laughs> you ever ask someone on a date <laughs> and you didn't think it was a date? Like, you just like, yo, let's hang. Let's go to the movies. Like, chill. And they assumed it was a date? Not as a guy, nah. Not as a guy, I don't guy, think no. I, if, if I'm asking you out, it's a date. It's if a I'm day. paying, it's a <laughs> It's a date. It's a all date. Right? It's a okay, date. Okay, okay. Um, especially if I'm paying, it's a date. <laughs> you, you know that it's a date, you know. And, um, yeah, you're going to know it's a date, you know, period, point blank. Maybe so. You other than that, we're going to Dutch. A date. Yeah, other than that, we're going to Dutch. <laughs> That's when you know we, you I'm going to You pay for your home. own, and I pay for <laughs> mine. So what's been going on with your president? Your president? No, your president. Your president? Nah, not mine. Your My president. unapologetic president. At the end of the day, he is the president. Uh, but Donald Trump been out here. Just wilding. 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 And do we not expect like, it, though? But I'm talking about wilding where, like, I think it's kind of like touching home. Like, I think it's like, let me get my motherfucking food pantry together let me get my damn storage get my bunker ready like oh, so you yeah, so you I'm, over there going I'm, to canada you about yeah. to go seek asylum over listen, there listen like, i'm about to i'm about to be to i'm about me. to prepare for world war whatever <laughs> you know i'm about to prepare he, for whatever i need to get my arsenal up i need to get yo, my gun game up popping i you know like, like this is how i'm feeling at if this I moment if i could sum him up in one word it would be reckless he is just completely reckless. Super like, reckless. Like, to the point where it's just like, are you serious right now? I know everyone around him. Like, even if you're close to him and you were capping for him and maybe he just might, you know, just Do shine something. and, you know, just, you know, prove us all wrong. Ain't no way in hell. There's but, no hope left. But people love hate. Like, people love, it, it, it's weird, but people love hate. People love to hate. And, and for some reason, that has become, especially what this country is built upon, it, it, it has fueled something that is, it's, it's, I feel like it's gone wild. I feel like it hasn't reached, like, D.C. yet. I mean, you have Baltimore and you have things like that that's going on, but, like, Man. I feel like it's getting close. It's getting close. <laughs> it's almost getting close, um, you know. Yeah. And, you know, even though it affects our whole country, I just it really like he has set the tone for a lot of the things that are that are going on. And I think as the uh, the head, in, the leader in chief, or what is it, the head in command, or whatever they call him, commander in chief. Yeah, commander in chief. I'm sorry, Miss Aya. I was like, commander in chief. I mean, he has to take responsibility responsibility for this. It's all his fault. Donald he Trump said the tone don't for this care, though. Listen, as, as, as long as we've been doing this fault. podcast, I, as long look, as we've I just been didn't talking, know who to point blame. I know he don't care, but don't just care. know that I blame you, and millions of other people blame you too. Because I mean, people just people have changed overnight. Really, it like has. It, it's just, it's just amazing to me. But when your president is out here acting crazy and doesn't hold himself to certain standards that he should, it just I guess it makes it easier for other people not to as well. I mean, is this some type of ordeal where all the racists want to come like just out of the woodwork? Like they're like kind of like you them. had you kind of had like roaches, but didn't know you had roaches. <laughs> he and then it's like Pandora's well, box of racism, and they all just jumping out like you finally freed me and i ain't never going back somebody in somebody ran their car into a bunch of protesters like what what, what? but you know what and that also I, happened i think today in barcelona as well uh another person rented a van and just went to a huge spot where a lot of tourists are and just ran his car into people like why it's just so sad and then the thing about it is like well you know what I can't even wrap my head around it. It's just, it's, it's, I can't imagine being on vacation or, you know, just being at a protest or just, 
you know, smiling and enjoying myself and feeling like I'm supposed to be here, feeling like I'm doing something right, you know, feeling like right. I'm on the right side of history and then something like that happens. It's just like, what? But you know what? I blame Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> I blame the who, whole state who, of Virginia. Who gave them the damn permit? <laughs> you let people leave their state to come to your town to cause mischief. But the thing is, that's Virginia. That's like I understand. What was it? The mayor or uh, someone that came out and and condemned all the things that were going on. Yeah. But Virginia is just a racist, you know, area. There's certain things to me. I mean, the only time that I've ever been locked up or been put behind bars has been in Virginia. Has been. And it was for nothing, you know. So for for me, <laughs> I'm sorry. Literally, it was you know. I know every okay. black man says okay. that, but this one was true. Okay. And I know every black man says that too <laughs> after that. But this one was true yeah. too. <laughs> so, I, I just really I, hope I just, it gets better. Yeah, I really I hope, hope that. I mean, it's just so sad that this is going on in 2017. You know, this is things that we read about protesting happening at that time. They were. You know, hosing people down, putting dogs on people. Now they're just running their cars into people. It's just, I really, something needs to change. And I'm hoping that something does change. Um, well, what we need to I do is, mm -hmm. we need to reclaim our time. <laughs> we need uh, to do, we need to do like Maxine Waters and reclaim my time. But I know it's getting to a point where a lot of people, you know, are silent and people don't want to be silent anymore. No. And so more and more people are coming out. And I think that's what it's going to take to affect some type of change. I don't even know what it is at this point. Maybe I need to go and think about solutions. I definitely want to be part of the solution, but I'm really hoping that something changed. And you know, our hearts and prayers go out to everyone who was hurt in Charlottesville, everyone who was hurt in Barcelona, you know, and I just hope we as a race, you know, we all, as a human race, we all just get better and treat each other better. Well, you know, like a wise woman once told me, and, um... What on, did I tell you? On, not, not, not you, on TV, wise woman on TV, Harriet Tubman from Underground, and, um, she said that, you know, you can't sit this one out. This one, Absolutely. this one, at, if you're black or if you're affected by or if you're a minority, you can't sit this one out. You can't. And that hit home for me because it's like, well, am I prepared to really go like that extra mile for equal liberties, equal rights and things like that? Like, you know, or am I going to stay in my little bubble and, you know, your job and your consistent income and your married life? Or are you really going to go out there and actually preach and put things in, in for or, 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 or just fight? Are you just going to be a part of the fight? And that's a question that everyone needs to ask themselves. And what is the cost you, if you are not a part of the fight is also a bigger question as well. Are you going to be a part um, of the fight? I just said that I want to think of solutions, and I just said that I want to be a part of that solution okay. as well. Um, right. Everyone needs to. I mean, it, I, 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 if I have a, a son, I have a daughter, I, I, I have a seed that is going to grow, and she's going to have children, she's going to have children. I want this place to be somewhere that they can be proud of. You know, that is true. We're absolutely, here. We're absolutely. on the greatest country definitely. on earth. Definitely. And it's just people are taking a stand. And that's one thing that I like. You know what I mean? I also want to talk about NFL players taking a stand. What do you mm. think about that? Well, listen, I feel like the NFL is a huge, huge, huge platform. I think that as football players, you have a big influence on a lot of people. And I felt like you should use your platform and your influence to do what you can. Now, you may ruffle some feathers, you know, because of such. But I felt like, listen, once you have made it, do your thing. Believe in, stand for the things that you want to stand for. You will be respected and you'll have a legacy, you know, for a long time. All right. Is that legacy worth not having an income or being able to feed your family who says you're not gonna have an income well i'm asking is it because the owner of the dallas cowboys stated that his players will stand for the national anthem or they will find themselves off the roster so that's a decision that people are having to make as well dallas cowboys players are having to make so what do you basically think about that? you stand for stand for or you get fired that's 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 it basically yep well, you know, I, how much money we talking? <laughs> well, I mean, he, for all the players, so the top tier, the top tier players and the bench players, all of them. If you so, stand I mean, for the salaries, you 
know, but if you stand for the American flag, if you take a knee or try to, you know, protest, stand out when the national anthem is. Well, you have to understand played. that that the company that you work for, in any situation, the company that you work for, you the you are going with their values. If you work for the company, you have to have some type of moral, you know. What's the word I'm looking for? You have to be in sync somewhere with the values of what that company stands for. You're not just going to work for a company that is doing wrong and doing things like that, unless it's just about the money. But if you have a moral side, if you have a spiritual side, you're going to be you're going to stand up for what's right. I mean, even in the jobs that we have now. I always find myself standing up for what's right because I feel like you're not going to take advantage, you know, and it, it, we make conflict. And, it, and and if it comes to the point where it's about termination, then I have to come to that conclusion to see if this what, is what? worth it, okay. you know, to do it, you know, because I, I don't have to protest on this platform like you know you don't have to do that on this platform you can have your opinions and you can protest and you can say what you want to do so you mean outside like, for of example you. a player can attend rallies or a player can give a press conference on that and specific be out issue there. but while you're playing and when you're on the field just put it to the side to put it to the side because oh. this is your job you know what i'm saying and you took this job you know they selected you and you accepted. So therefore, you got to be. They do sign contracts, and it does. I don't think it says anywhere in their contract that they have to stand. But so I'm pretty can, sure it does kind of say so. But we all know in the politics of things that <laughs> it don't have to be in your contract. This, even in corporate, let me talk to my corporate America heads. When they <laughs> say other duties assigned on your job description, <laughs> there and you doing goes. shit that you not that you know you ain't getting paid. For for, yeah that's under other duties to sign you know what i'm saying so therefore we all know that it may not be laid out in there verbatim but we still they still can exercise the right to fire your ass so well, what you gonna do that's 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 what we're figuring out we'll see who changes their tune uh. <laughs> we'll see Come or they may just play that card you listen you can't for me if you wanted to hey. i can pay you know, you I'm so know. happy for Cardi B. I'm happy for her too. I don't know much about Cardi B. How I'm you don't not, know much about I don't, Cardi B? I didn't B. watch like Love and Hip Hop, but I know her. I know her it's song. Vocally. I've seen her interviews. You know what I mean? I know her name. Somebody says Cardi B. I know who they're referring to. That just goes to show you how much she's, you know, she's blown up because I didn't, I didn't watch the show. That's not where I know her from. But I mean, her song is catchy. But that's good though because. Cardi B started out as a reality star on Love and Hip Hop, and she did exactly what she was supposed to do. She used that platform to basically catapult, catapult her music. But even though on the show, her music wasn't really the huge, huge, huge focus, she was popular because of the ratchetness and because of the, the authenticity that she was given, you yeah. know? And it's Sean through. People want to get to know you. I think that's more the thing. People want to feel like they know you, they know who you are, and they want to feel like you're not acting for them and like you're being real. Because yeah, a lot of this reality TV, you'd be like, hold on. But I think she comes across as, even from the interviews that I've seen of her, like, she seems like that's just her. She wants to be happy. Cool. She wants to work. You know what I mean? She wants to follow her dreams. You can't be mad at her. that. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think and now she's she, funny as hell. Yeah, she is funny as hell. <laughs> and she was popping before him, but I think, like, even that... People are starting to really take her music seriously. And she got a hit. This Bodak Yellow is a hit. And when I say that all the women are singing this song, and when I say that it's blasting all the on videos the radios, online it, it's, people, it's going. It's it, it, going. It it's going. It is, it she's is. breaking records, and she's doing her thing, and she, she has a hit. I just hope that she, she keeps, keeps it going. going. Yeah. And I hope that, you know, it. you can't help but to love a Cardi B. Some, a there's something about genuine, your yeah, ratchet, like. ratchetness and righteousness. You <laughs> ratchet, know, it's, righteous, righteous, righteous. Yeah. Ratchet. It, it, it's something about it. Yeah. And, and you know, she's actually, it. like, honestly, because I know I've seen a lot of these reality shows and some of them, they people say they're artists, they have music, but I, like, never heard of the artists, never heard of their music. And when I do did hear it, it wasn't that great. You know what I mean? But she's actually, her music, she was on the show and she's doing well. So congrats to her. Because a lot of these people, they be on these shows, I don't know what they do. They say they doing all this stuff. But they'll be like, I'm an actress, but I don't know what you were in. Or I'm a singer, I don't know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yep. 
you can't really put the person to their work but in this situation you can put the girl to her work and that's that's cool that's kind of cool i guess she's an example for other reality stars that if you stay focused on what you want and don't get sidetracked you can achieve what you know your and see the thing about it is is that you have to take these opportunities and be serious about it a lot of reality tv stars are not making it to that platform they're not they're just reality they're stars. they're comfortable. They feel stars. like they're getting these TV sh- these show checks. I mean, you know, they may just get complacent and forget. Like Jocelyn. Ain't got no one, not one single on the chart, but want to go ahead and quit the platform that's giving you the most love. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. This reality TV, you know, hey, maybe one day we'll be on reality <laughs> TV. Shit. We might be eating our words later. I don't know. You know what it is, what it is. Oh, gosh. But, I could not see. I can, I can see you on reality TV, but I cannot really? see me on reality I TV. I don't think I can look, see reality TV. Look, they be too raw on reality TV. I'd be like, look. <laughs> Love. Nah, be like, yo, edit that out. Oh, well, I didn't yes. mean to say that. I yep. didn't mean to say that. The editing be having you looking all me. types of crazy and oh, no, yeah, no. That's gonna be crazy. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I have to give a big up. Let's can we talk about Mary J. Blige real quick? Hey, she was just in the DMV. Yeah, she was. She was yes. down here at the MGM Grand. She had a show. Um, I, I saw her, a couple of my friends there. Too. Yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. my I sister saw the went. It was. She said it was dope. It was, it was dope. dope, right? Yeah. And I just want to talk about where she's at in her life because she's newly divorced, and we talked about her on Drinks and Conversation before. Let me tell you, pain, her and Kendall, heartache, yo. But I Woo! feel like it's bringing out the best in her because I'm That's loving it does. this Mary J. Blige. When Britney Spears heard Justin Timberlake, nah, did you not see the album that Britney he Spears. produced? Don't bring up no. Britney Spears. Listen, did you okay, not see ahead. the album that he produced? Who? Uh, Justin Timberlake, the album after him and Britney split, Cry Me a River and oh, all those yeah, great, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's what I'm saying, when artists, their music is, art imitates life, their music sometimes reflect what they're going through, and you notice when people go through heartache or heartbreak or go through, you know, some type of tragedy or something, it sucks, I don't want you to be hurt, but that's when the quality of what they're the producing at its it. peak is just great, and Mary J is just soaring. You can't hold her down. Yo, Mary her J. Blige is out here right now. dancing. She's a phoenix. Singing, shot. She she what? she just doing. And can't her nobody move like Mary. Can't can nobody move like Mary. Whoa, the moves is still getting it. <laughs> Look, we ain't just, dancing, y'all. <laughs> I want to go to the concert just to just, just to, to be like, Mary go J. Mary, go Mary. That's the only thing I want to I want to say in the Mary, concert. Go Mary, it's your freedom. Go, go Mary. It's Go Mary. Up. So we're going to say it from here. We're going to say it from here. What do you mean? We're just going to give Mary a little praise from here. Oh, yeah. Go yeah. Mary. Look at that. MJB. <laughs> I, I, did lo- I did like the album, though. I love the Mary J. Blige album. Oh, I, I know. The new one. You ain't listen to that shit. Listen. I was just, why, why you talking about me I'm like that? I'm just saying you ain't listen to it. Why you pointing at me like that? Hey, yo, bruv. Listen. Bruv. Bruv. Let me tell you. I've been watching so many movies from like the UK, and, and I've you've been, been loved, quoting them. I've been loving with them. their slang. Like, I love the way that they talk. I'm so, 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 so in love with like people from the UK. I love it. I just well, love it. Why don't it. we go? Why don't we do it? I need to go, bro. Let's go, years. bro. Let's go. Like instead of Let's saying bro, they say bro with a V, and it's just so catchy. I just been saying it over and over, I'd be and over like, again. What? You Bruh. said what? You said what about chicken? chicken <laughs> You said, what about just, I don't know. I'm so, like, oh my gosh, I need to go. Who is your Who is your celebrity crush right now? I don't think I have a celebrity crush. No one. Like no one uh, you fancy. Did you repeat so, that? Who? You, no one that you. Well, fancy? you know, Brandy is always a crush of mine. So hey, um, Brandy was just never mind. Never mind. But these days, these days, these days, these days, I, I love me a Kerry Washington. I love me a character. You like Washington. some scandal. I, I, I like some scandal. You like some scandal. <laughs> <laughs> I like some scandal you in my like life. Some scandal. <laughs> but I, I just love like sophisticated, nice. Like I, I, I love. Maybe I'm in love you, with the character. I should say Olivia. You know, more like a Olivia Pope. But I, I love that in charge. That you know, that that, that that that's 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 nice. What about you? I don't have one. Oh, you don't have a celebrity I don't. Crush. I did used to have one, but my celebrity crush is kind of crazy. Like Blair Underwood ain't your celebrity crush? No, but oh. Blair Underwood been fine all his life. Okay. All his life. A couple episodes life. ago, you were saying something I was, different. 
but go ahead. About who? Blair Underwood? Yeah. I love Blair Underwood. What you mean? No, I didn't. All right, so I'm saying, who's your crew? That's a crush. No, but I'm just saying he's just been fine all his life. Like, he's just so beautiful. <laughs> I think, like, he's gorgeous. Just like I think Donnie Simpson is gorgeous. You know what I mean? He's he's so handsome. You know what I mean? <laughs> he is. Donnie Simpson? Yes. He's oh, so oh, handsome. Oh. Yes. Is that, that like Donnie Simpson? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. He's so handsome. Okay. I said a little, you, little What? Nothing. Nothing. Whatever. No, but I don't have. <laughs> right now, I don't have a celebrity crush. Okay. Yeah, no. I don't really? fancy anyone right now, bro. You don't? No Kanye, <laughs> no Jay, nobody, no, no J. Cole, no nothing. Nah, no J. Okay. Cole like the homie though. I feel like if I knew J. Cole, we'd be real tight. But okay. nah, I don't, I don't fancy him. You don't fancy him. No. Right. Well, who is your crush these days? So oxytocin, because we we ain't been in your love life in a couple of months. That's so let's, my, I don't let's have see, one. Let's see what, what's going on in the love life. No love so we gotta life. Put you, we I gotta know you're about to be married. Together. I know you're about to be married and whatnot, but no, actually, no love life. The I feel flat, like the, I'm just meant to be single. I think like it's not for everybody. I really had to evaluate my life, and I just feel like right now I'm just going for it, single and happy, and I want to experience. I want to travel. I want to just do my. I mean, so I, I mean, at what point in life do you get like that? Do you get where you just want to be single? It depends on your experiences. It's not even at a point. I can't say a certain age. I can't say. It just depends on your experience and how that affects you and what you learn from it. So it's really just an individual kind of thing. You can't really put that on anyone else. Do you want to have more kids? I, honestly, I mean, I don't want to say. I <laughs> Let me say. If God willing, then yes, I'll have more children. Oh you gotta God, be that's careful. A safe answer. No, if because God your words, willing, listen, if listen, God your say, words are so powerful, and I don't want to speak that into the atmosphere, and then I'm but trying it's, it's, to say that you, I want do kids. You or don't but you, do as you of want right more kids? now, the way that I envision my life and I see it going forward, being a single woman okay. and not in a relationship, I don't see children as of right now in my future. But, but would that could you be love to, to have another kid? Or would you be open-minded children, to having another Children another are just child. so expensive. You know what I mean? I have a, almost a whole teenager. Almost Everything a whole I have, she has. It's like double everything. Double lipstick, double hair, double makeup, double, uh, you know, everything. It's like, damn. You know what I mean? And, and I have a great family, a support system, but I am a single mother. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like when it comes, my family supports me with time. There's always someone to watch her on birthdays. You know, she showers. But for the most part, my income is going to myself and a whole other person who has a, a needs just as my own. <laughs> so it's just. I it's, told you that. Children it costs too much, damn it. It costs too much, yes. <laughs> That I would love when, to. You know, you want your child to go to camp. You want them to be in active school activities. When you have a lot of kids or you can't afford to have your kids, those are experiences that you, your child might not be able to have. And for me, I want my child to experience those things. I want her to, you know, be in extracurricular activities. I want her to, you know, go to camp. So you want to give her experience. her best I want to give it, it. I want to allow them to put their best foot forward. Exactly. And I feel like. If you can't afford them or if you have more than you can afford, you just kind of, it's not, I just don't feel like it's fair to the well, child. Well, in China, they don't let you have but so many kids, so I'm just saying, like. <laughs> but that's not good. I, I was actually though. reading an article about China, and now the population imbalance is horrible. Like, it's so many men and not enough women. Like, it's not enough women. And I don't know what they're going to do. They got hordes everywhere. They better be <laughs> hoarding up out there in China. There's so many women. I, I mean, there's so less women. I they need the to ratio, be doubling up. But it's up. something crazy that the ratio of men to women. I was just like, oh my gosh. And now they're trying to figure out how they're going to, you know, what they're going to do about this problem they've created that they didn't realize. So. Yeah. Well, I ain't going to China no time soon. Well, shit, you, I might look, be going. I might be, be going to, to China they soon. Need, they need all of their women. They cannot afford to be so to you. We about to. They'll take you. You want me to go? <laughs> they there? need you all their women. Go ahead. Yeah, Listen, go. it is what it is. It is what we got our own problems over here. We do US got our own we, problems that we need to deal with. You know, I want to talk about this whole Chris Brown thing because it's starting to resurface. That was um, my old celebrity crush. Chris that Brown. was your old celebrity yeah, crush. Chris. Oh, okay. What, ha love, what happened? What happened? I just got older and he's not my celebrity crush anymore, but he just was when I was younger. That's all. Okay. Nothing wrong. I love Chris Brown. And then, I, you know, I love Chris Brown. Okay. Well, Chris Brown is back in the news and and he's talking about the whole Rihanna situation. Actually, he's actually opening up about what happened 
that. I much. know everybody was like, finally, we want to know. People wanted to know. People did want to you know. You just don't do that. And, and see, the, the thing know. about it is, I don't know why he talking about it. I wouldn't have said shit. Maybe because he wants it. some things you got to get off your chest. Some I mean, things some are therapeutic. I mean, he's been holding on to it for a long time. And I think he said he thought he was, you know, doing her a favor, but then he started look like, looking like the villain or something like that. I forgot what it was about, but... I mean, sometimes you just got to get things off your chest. But doesn't that make you look worse, giving no, more detail doesn't. to the situation? I don't think so. You Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Whatever cleanses you and frees your mind and puts you in a good place. It's all good in the neighborhood. He just basically, <laughs> I mean, you know. It, 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 in any situation, it takes two. It takes two. It takes two people to fight. It takes two people to fight. It takes two people to fight. In that situation, it looks like it took two. Have you ever been in a fight in a in a relationship? Have you ever a been fight the, like the, fight? I mean, a, a physical fight. Have a you fight? ever been? No. I mean, like a physical fight. No, not. Have a you physical ever hit fight. a guy? No, I don't do that. Okay. I mean, because I'm I if mean, I, I hit someone, no. The thing is, because some women they do it and they don't expect to get back to get hit back. I've always known if you put your hands on somebody, please be prepared for them to put their hands on you. Like, it's already expected, so I don't go around putting my hands on people. Like, if I put my hands on you, it's gonna come serious because, you know, I expect to fight. But I don't hit guys. But some people are young. I mean, you're young. No, you're you know in better. Love, you're passionate. You know better. It happens. You know better. No, I don't even understand, like, how you could do that to someone you say you love. You know what I mean? Like, that is just for me, my comprehension of it. I know what happens and I, you know, whatever, I but I, I just, I'm to just not going to do it to, to punch the guy that I'm with in the face because I'm mad about some, like, no, that's just, for me, that that's not going to happen. But I don't think love has anything to do with it. I feel like, it, I, I it feel does, like it's not I love. I feel you. like, I'm, I feel I'll like part- it's just being with that person. Like, you may say you love them or you may say you care about them. But the thing about it is, it's, it's just about being with that person. Like, you might not be compatible on certain levels. Or you may have the anger problem. Like, That's you fine. may have the situation. Being, being physical just doesn't happen with me. And me hitting someone. I doing that to someone that I'm with. That's just not going to happen with me. I just, I don't know. I've never done it. I don't see myself doing it. I mean, have you ever done it since sometimes you say it can happen when you're like i mean you ever smooch somebody yeah. real quick no I, i've never put my hands on yeah, it just doesn't on a happen woman. I but i have gotten into altercations i have gotten into altercations in relationships but me too well you know i spoke yeah. about mine some episodes back but i mean for I spoke me about just, mine's too yeah for me to cock off and just be go back punched, go back like, and check that out <laughs> go back and you check know, them back but, out you know Get it off your chest. I don't see nothing wrong with it. I feel like in relationships, you just go through things. You go through things. It works. And then you're young, you're growing, you're learning. And how long has it been? Like 10 years since Chris Chris Brown and Rihanna been together? It's been like 10, 12 years. Well, not since they've been together. But since the incident. Since the incident. Yeah. But, you know, I feel like, you know, as you get older, you look back at some of those mistakes. This is probably what Chris Brown is doing, is looking back and just saying, you know what, this thing that I could have done better. And I don't know what I was thinking in that time frame, you know, because I look back and think of some of the relationships and be like, damn, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, the shit that was important at that time is not not important important. today. And the shit that should have been important, you could care less about at the time. Yeah. Therefore, I feel like, you know, it's just a a matter of growth. But I am glad that he's talking about it because I kind of wanted to know what really did happen. Everybody wanted to know. Like, like, I really am not here for nosiness, you know what I mean? But in this situation, everybody wanted to know what happened. I know everybody was... What's somebody say? It's about damn time. Like everyone it's about time. to know. But That's you know what? what I also saying. feel like if you would have came out with it right in the beginning, it would have been all smooth. But the thing about it is, I mean, he got on camera with his But you got to understand, he, you were, he was young, and I, I really believe he was advised not to say anything. Yeah, I believe You know so. what I mean? I think at that point, he listened. You get to a certain point where you're like, I make my choices for myself. And I don't think he was making them for himself. I think because like, your career is on the line. It, that's what they Your career you. is on the line. And you know they make it seem like a big deal. Yeah, you it's probably got all, all the people making money off of you or associated with you, like, you know, trying but to has take care of their pockets. Um, I think his career has felt the effects of it because he's a very talented artist. I mean, 
his dance moves, from his music. He spends a lot of time in the studio. He worked hard on his craft. He's not, um, I think he should have more awards and more accolades. And I mean, being Chris being Brown. a lot of stuff, but that's not going to happen for him because this is always going to it's follow him around. And that sucks I, because if you do something, I do feel like people deserve a second chance. I don't feel like you should do one thing in your life and just it ruins everything. Like, you know what I mean? It depends well, on a thing. Now, when it comes to like, it yeah, like, you know, anything with children or like child, you know, stuff like that. But I mean, this situation, and this is a lot of men. This is not like this is something foreign to society. There are a lot of people who, you know, for whatever reason, slip up and make this mistake. But they, you know, allow them to come back from it. And I just don't feel like need to be stifled because of it. It's just not right. Forget. You want people to forget. Second chances. Second chances. People go in jail, right? They kill someone's family member. They go in jail. They come out. And you're like, you know, they've been rehabilitated. It's time for them to have a sense of chance. They can be reintroduced into society. But we can't do the same for him because what? You know what? Somebody who kills somebody, I, I don't think he could be I don't think so either. That. But I'm saying what, what happens. This is what happens. And this, this is, is what, what people this is say what happens. about people, second chances. I guess when you're a celebrity, you just held to all different and accounts. I, it's and a this blessing was a and a curse. Story that's it's a be blessing forever. and a curse. But the, the more and more you talk about it, the more and more that we actually remember it. So it's kind of like, it's just kind of like, just yeah. do your thing. Yeah. Like if we were really focused on I your I doubt if you'll talk talent, about it again. I think it was like a one and done kind of thing. Just get it off the show. Listen, they brought it back up to the surface. We was over that shit about two years ago. We wouldn't people say bringing it up. We wasn't even thinking about the shit. No, yeah, were, we I do. feel like if it happened, well, with Chris Brown, because that's the only that's the only thing we have. On, that's the only thing they have on Chris Brown is this whole Rihanna situation. But you know, it is it is what it is. I don't know. Every uh, celebrities everywhere is feeling it. It is Usher herpes, right? Fifty Cent leaking his show, <laughs> but Fifty Cent. I don't know if it you was. Think worth Usher, you think Usher got herpes? No, I'm just saying Usher and herpes. I mean, is do the you think? Thing. Do you think Usher has herpes? I don't really think if he. I I, can, I don't care. What would you do if you was Usher? What would I do if I was yeah. Usher and yeah. someone at this point in time right now lied on me? I would be upset. Cause he, I, uh, but this is a lie, though. That's what I'm saying. I would be upset. Because but what if you had herpes and you were just outed about it? The, I mean, you have it. If you're, if you have it and you're not telling someone, I guess it's the problem. I mean, it's just, it's just bad all the way around. Don't lie on someone. It's just, I mean. Do you think Usher should come out and just say? That? I don't think he has to say anything. Number one. Because if he had it or not, it's not your business. That's between him and his doctor. And if it's a lie that he was ever with you, of course he didn't disclose anything to you so because you he wasn't with you. So you think that if he had herpes and everybody knew about it, that it's only There's between a lot of people him who have and his. And I mean, know because about it. I mean, let's just be real. A lot of it's, actors, some of them have it. And they have like a herpes list in Hollywood where they know every. <laughs> no, I'm herpes. serious. Where they know you. <laughs> Especially because you're, you know, There's on, a herpes on list screen. In Hollywood? Yes. Okay. On screen, they're close who's to people, and list? they know different celebrities who's who have herpes. I don't on that remember list? who's on the list. You can pull Give it up. One person who's you on can the pull list. it up online who's on the <laughs> list. But they do have a list of people who have certain things. You know what I mean? Because you have to disclose that stuff if you're kissing someone and this is your job. That's true. So yeah, I if forgot. Who, I, I mean, I, I can't even think of the person's name. That's not something I can't remember. But I feel like that's your personal business, and unless you're like. You have it, and you're acting. Of course, then you need to disclose that. Type Do you of think stuff. that somebody? So you agree that somebody needs to disclose this information before having sex? Disclose what information? About your whole sexual status. That's something that. Look, when you're engaged in that type, you need to have conversation. If you want the information from the person, ask them the information. If you neglect to, then you neglect to. I mean, that's something that two people have to work out. I don't. I mean, what do you think? Are you? I mean, it, do you think it's it's your responsibility or the person's responsibility? I think it's the person's responsibility because when I hear these stories about people getting AIDS and HIV and you're sleeping with someone unprotected and they didn't but tell you. But they say you, you, you chose they to sleep with and me. They didn't tell you. You didn't me ask finish. me. You didn't when ask me. That's that's my point. Okay. If you would have let me finish, I'm, I'm saying bad, when I'm I hear sorry. these stories about AIDS and HIV being contracted through unprotected sex, and they're saying you didn't tell me, you didn't tell me. My thought process is you didn't think enough to take care of yourself, self preservation. You didn't care enough about your body. You are responsible for you, and I am responsible for me. So for you to drop the ball, you can't blame somebody else. 
So basically, you can't blame somebody else for basically... If you sleep with somebody, you have to be the person. You have to hold yourself accountable as well because it takes two to tango. Okay, but you have to be the one to basically get the stats. Get the what? The stats. Your status. You you have well, to you're get, gonna, look, get it's their even, status. Whoever you sleep people with People need to be your responsible. If you're having sex with people who you're not committed to, use a condom. If you're committed to them in the way that you should you before you're having sex. You get it sex, to a condom. Look, you can. And that's I, I'm not having sex. So, I mean, hey, they we're talking about people who are <laughs> You've engaging had sex in this before. Sense. It's not saying that, you know. As of right now, though, I'm not. And I don't do it if I'm not okay, committed. But so, based what I'm on saying your previous to you experience. is that from my, pre, I, from my previous experience, okay. number one, I'm not even talking from my previous experience because it's not your business. <laughs> the, number two, how you should live your life okay. is if you're in a committed relationship with someone, you shouldn't be fucking no one but your husband. But if you are, you both should already have gone to the doctors. Doctors, there are tests that you take even before you get married to make sure that you two are even compatible to have children. That your child won't come out with one arm or have some type of disease. There's a lot of testing that need that you need to go into it. Okay. But we live in a society where people are just having sex. That's it. They see people at the club. They're boning. They have boyfriend and girlfriend relationships. They're boning. They're sleeping together, not using condoms. That's, that's crazy in 2017. You, you have to it. protect yourself. You yeah, you right. can catch it through a condom, but at least your chances are less if you still want to go ahead and engage in that. And at the end of the day, you have a choice. You have free will. So you can't blame nobody but yourself. That's true. What do you think? That's true. I, I agree with you. I'm would you disclose you. if you had AIDS or HIV before sleeping with someone? Would you tell you them? You know, I had this conversation today, and I said, yes, if I had HIV, I will only be sleeping with people that are positive. But you know there's different strains. There's different strands, but I'd rather take my chances with different <laughs> strands than okay. to be taking And if you it. had herpes, would you just tell somebody right off the I would be sleeping with somebody who had herpes. Okay, so I, do you tell them as soon as you meet them at the bar, or do you date no, them for a while? No, we like, do. There's groups and organizations <laughs> that have shit with, you know, it's a herpes chat, and it's a, it's a herpes meetup, and it's, it's other people. You get together, you get together in but, groups. I guess. But either way, it's wrong to lie on someone. So, I mean, I, it, if you know stuff didn't go down the way you say it go down, that's just crazy to me. But I guess you have people that are just pathological, pathological liars. I mean, like, that's just crazy, though, to shame and harm and smear somebody's name like that when you know. It's all about a come it's up. The, it's that, all that, about a come up. They know people Yo, got you money. Do, you do not want to even be associated with that. And then when everybody find out you lie, like, oh my gosh, that is. Woo! <laughs> you better know. find a good rock to that's crawl under. That's you have, crazy. That's if you have a personal life. If no nobody really know you, it doesn't really matter. But your family knows you. They have you, you have to have, have some level family. level of integrity. I will hope people have integrity. You might not have much family. I guess they don't. Oh my still. But you have to <laughs> see yourself. I, this just makes I I can't even, you can't, like, even I do can't, it. Even, you can't even do it. Like you have to have integrity. Like come on. How do you feel about yourself? Like you just out here lying. I don't know. Look, I'm over this. I look. think your sexual status is important. I it know, is important, with, but it's super important. Yes. Like I think even But with, people need to have the the right questions people need to have the right conversations drinks and conversations y'all drink y'all have fake or false or low conversation y'all don't get to the deep stuff surface conversation no we get into the deep stuff. people don't get into the deep stuff it's drinks man, conversations man. and sex and then herpes well, and listen. stds and all that stuff i know you gotta know. have the right conversation and then people can lie to you anyway so you're taking a That's chance true. either way That's true. you just have to be smart about it i know even with me you know, in my sexual past, that I've always had papers. I've always, anybody, like, I've always had my papers so that anybody that I'm sleeping with at that present time, um, I can be able to get my papers. And I feel as though you should have your papers, too. Like, if I'm showing you my papers, that I'm all clean and this and that. But you know what? If you get your papers on Monday... Sleep with a random on Wednesday. I'm protected. It you, won't be that quick. <laughs> My saying, shit, I'll be like, this you, was done every day. I this mean, it's done still, every day. Even, even papers is not okay. enough. That's why commitment is so important. You know what I mean? Um, and I understand not everybody wants to be committed. But how you going to be committed everybody. if you just meeting the person? 
that's why it takes time and that's why you go through the process Okay. That means you're just not going to be having sex. Okay, That's so all that means. Okay, so we've been talking for a couple months. Like, you see my papers, but you see I mean, I'm clean. That's why it's important to be with someone. Basically, boy, I don't said, having the same values and wanting the same things. Because if you two are on the same page with that, then you can do whatever, you know, works for you. And that's what's Actually, important. Tosin, I don't care. If you're clean, if, if I show you I'm clean, well, and you show, you, and you show me you're clean. If somebody winds up with something, then y'all both going to be looking at the ceiling. Just because you got them papers a month. So what is the time frame for the papers? Like what's it? So if you got more your papers, seventy five It takes three ago, weeks for symptoms to show. So, so, so. <laughs> more than a month. You gotta have something ordered in a month. Oh, ordered in a month, <laughs> less than six months. Oh, that's Listen, that's the rule. And that's you gotta true. know. And then the, the papers. You gotta say what's okay. the date on this paper, yeah. baby? Uh, still, that still can go either way. Listen. But I guess they trying. They're trying, yeah, you, it, but it's still going either way. That's you neither here nor there. Your increase, you're reducing, you're reducing your probability of getting, of getting. By a penny a percent. <laughs> <laughs> you're reducing your percentage by of getting infected by anything. No, but I think we really need to have this conversation just about like you know safe sex abstinence abstinence is good too a celibacy whatever you choose or sex is have sex responsibly Ooh. like even when you're watching these shows like i love insecure i absolutely love insecure and i haven't seen not one condom like what's going on they need to see the sex scene that's what i'm saying like they need to show that condom usage you know what i mean you but just what? see man this is tv I don't but need to see the umbilical cord when people, you're having a baby. You don't understand how the brain internalizes it. Not everybody is that smart to be like, oh, let Listen, me. You only got people but get so much carried away time. by the heat of the moment. Look, no, it takes two seconds to grab a condom. I hope that's not how you live your real life. <laughs> I hope that's not how you live your real life. It takes two seconds to grab well, a you, condom. It okay? takes two seconds to it show your papers, <laughs> too. You show your papers, your papers so you ain't got to use your it. Your papers from two years ago. So you see. Nah. Yeah, whatever. Nah, buddy, nah, okay, buddy. so y'all, look, we about to wrap this up. We're gonna pick up this safe Somebody sex insecure. abstinence. <laughs> <It's somebody Never. laughs> as much uh, sex scenes that go on that's in what insecure. Saying. I know. Listen, uh, but I want to see it not TV, just the insecure. Though. That was an example. You but don't I even see have it sex like that board. on TV. I want to see it across the board. I would love you would like to, to see, see more condom usage or you know something. How you want to see condom or usage? Or a rapper on. The, Condom usage when it comes to film. It could be a torn, a box of condoms on a dresser that are open, uh, the wrapper on the floor, just to show that it was used. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Not actually putting it okay. on. Okay. 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 No, okay. I, okay. I get yeah, you. Yeah, that's I get how you show condom usage in I mean, film. Want, but just so that, you know, because. You want young ladies to be able to use condoms. I want so young males care. to be able to protect themselves, and I also want young women <laughs> to be able to protect themselves. Okay. You know what I mean? That's true. Uh, it's Let's just, see it's how just these, important. How these teenagers out here be starting. Teenage, teenagers, adults, you know what I mean? It's people in the nursing homes, old people too. <laughs> people it in is, the, yes. I read okay. an article about, look, that's another time. <laughs> you we're about a, to get out of here. They got thoughts in the old home? It's, oh my oh gosh. God. You know what? And we're also going to talk about this, the, the word usage of this thought. This, this, Everybody's a thought. This. Yes, yeah. when I hear guys using, they just call everybody, 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 everybody. Because like, everybody oh, is a thought. No, every woman is not a thought. No, it's that hoe over there. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. But on that note, this is the third time I've said it. It's time for us to go. Don't be sad. Let me tell you, look. Oh, my gosh. We have so much in store for you. Look, I'm so happy you're on this yes. ride with us here at Drinks and Conversations. And just We got a lot on. going on. We got a lot coming your way. But actually, so some, before we leave, before we give our viewers out of, out of here, that is not a bad word all the time, okay? That is just like saying, my nigga, you know, that maybe. And we like will saying, talk about, you know, about that. we're going to we'll actually have a, we'll post a, thought, a YouTube we'll video. We'll have a thought out conversation. <laughs> That's what we're going to do <laughs> <laughs> next, next episode. We're going to have I a thought do. out conversation. We need, no, we need to make a visual. We're actually going to post a video <laughs> we're gonna on YouTube gonna get a couple and have thoughts, this We're going to get a couple You're thoughts so and we're going to have it. <laughs> All right, guys. We got and it we here, go. y'all. Hey. Oxia, Oxia. You know, it's, I it's a thought in the West Side story. story. 
growing up in DMV. I'm living my life just like a radio star. Oops, <laughs> I forgot. Nope, womp, it's not. Womp. We out, womp, womp.